Cade on here. Okay, so back to the new RCA microwave. It's working fine now that I've got my new. Uh, well, it already was working fine, but I was having to run out a big my 20 amp extension cord because my. Uh, I'll just go into that. My um, power supply. Not power supply, but I just can't find it. Oh, it's too dark down there. I, I could see it, so I thought I'd be able to. Yeah, not working. Okay, so I'm going to go around the corner here. My um, six way power strip. I'm always working with computer power supplies, so it made me think a little wrong there. There. Goes around here. We don't have a plug there in the breakfast nook area. It's dark in here, so I'm going to get some light turned on. Um, anyway, it just goes over here. Cord remote. So it's about a, it's a six foot, I believe, is what it is. And uh, it's right close to it. I kind of strung it out and looked at it yesterday. But the. Uh, put a new plug in there. If you see the previous video, just see what happened to the old one. Because I thought for sure because, and I thought it was because of the Kenmore, previous Kenmore microwave. Which I thought was uh, going out and drawing too much amperage and caused it to nearly catch on fire and heat it up so much. And I put a new end on here because it had also uh, damaged the... Uh, I'll go ahead and turn the light off and go around here. It also damaged the uh, ground lift. Well, I mean, it also damaged the, one of the male, uh, male leads, male lugs, male connectors on the uh, cord in there. Uh, and it heated it up. It, it, but it, when I saw it, when I, when I finally got the ground lift off of there, I saw it. And uh, I saw that it had... Uh, um, let me just stop this video and go get those. I'm talking about them. I, I didn't intend to go into that right now. I got myself confused. Okay, I'll come back. 